Hi guys, it's Angelia, and how's everybody doing today? Um, I hope you are staying cool where you're at. <laughs> it is hot here. I was just commenting on my last video I just made. It is like 109, I think that's what I said, 109 heat, heat index. So I am ready to get back in the house, and it's supposed to even be worse in a couple of days. So I'm going to try to get my videos done in the morning, but I have been gone all day, and you know, I had to run to Walmart, and and uh, they ended up having that yarn, um, the one that I wanted another skein of. So I was able to get me that one, and I ended up getting the pink one, which I should have brought it out here and showed you, but I'll show you in another video. And they do have the Pioneer Woman yarn there. It's so pretty, but I didn't get any of it yet. I, I'm going to wait a little bit. But anyhow, I want to get up here and talk to you about what I'm wanting to do. Um... I'm going to try to do my best to make a video every day in this month to uh, show you the blanket that I'm going to be working on. And if I'm, I hope you can see me right now. It is uh, very sunny. My t my table is riddled with uh, where my chickens have been. <laughs> I need to clean it off, but we had a storm too, and it's got pine needles and everything. So I hope you can. I hope it's not too blurry. But anyway, I'm going to get up here and show you progress on my blanket. Then I'm going to try to make a square every day the month of August. And it is a pattern by Suella, I think that's how you say her name. And it is the cutest blanket that she has uh, made. Now, she came out with it, I think, like seven years ago. And it's called the Bake Shop. Bake, yeah, shop blanket. And uh, hold on a minute. Okay, I had to move you around there. That sun was just blinding me. <laughs> but I think it's called the Bake Shop, and it is so cute. I mean, I really like to make it, too. But I really wanted to stick to the ice cream theme because, as I mentioned before, I want to do my craft room on that one wall, and I'm sure I'll change it out like I always do. I kind of want to do an ice cream theme right now. And so I thought it'd be cute to make an ice cream blanket, and I'm going to do it the way, basically the way me and Ashley have done it in the past. Um... I'm going to have hubby go in and pick out the colors. Here's the square. I'll show you as I'm talking. Right down. This is the first one that I made so I can show y'all. And now um, I'm going to have him, and he's already done it, go in and pick out two colors. And being that this is the first one, the next one is... Uh, and I asked him, this was one thing I, had, I could have control of on it. <laughs> If he would alternate the background, in other words, please pick a variegated on the next one, <laughs> and then on the next one, pick a solid background. And he said he would, and I thought, because I'm telling you right now, my OCD would probably uh, kick me on that one, because I have OCD, and, I, and it would probably bug me. But anyway, so he said he would do that, So, but when he, anyway, he's going to have a variegated and a solid in the bag, and I don't have a clue what they are. Uh, it's going to be a surprise to y'all and to me. So I thought it'd be kind of fun. And I'm anxious to see what he stuck in the bag. Now, this is um, Red Heart Super Saver Bon Bon. And this is Red Heart Super Saver Buff. And I'm going to do, I'm thinking of doing all the cones in this color. But I might actually switch it out and do a darker brown too. I just don't know yet. And then the cherry on the top is a red, not red heart, but the one I use a lot of, Mainstay. And then this is Mainstay White. But I love making this, but it's also one that you really, really need to pay attention to when you're doing it. Because the instructions for it, in my opinion, now this is just my opinion, they're not beginner friendly at all. Because I'm one of those ones I need to know exactly, okay, well, how many stitches over do I need to do that? She just says the corner and stuff like that. Now, for all I know, she might, I don't know if there's a, uh, a paid for PDF download. I don't remember. And it might be in that, you know, but she has a video on this and she's got it free on her blog where you can go and follow along. But you just have to eyeball it basically on where to do it. But she does tell you in the middle to line that middle stitch up with the middle circle that you got there you know how you do it there so that's what i done and but you basically make it on to the square without hardly any the only time you sew anything is when you sew the ice cream to the cone before you start making the square around it and here comes my rooster again 
man, is he persistent today? I tell you what, my while I was at Walmart, hubby told me some things that they were doing while I was gone. And when I got home, the evidence was in the yard. They were awful. They like to get in my plants and they get up on the porch. And I don't have a problem with that. But the problem I have is I got plants up there and they're wanting to get in them and lay in them. Lay their eggs in it. And you know what? They got a coop right over there that they can go lay them in. But I don't know. They're just... They're aggravating me right now. But anyway, here comes that sun again, I tell you. Um, what I like about it, if I had a tick on me, is you don't really, you know, this is how it looks on the back. And so when I sold the ice cream onto the cone, I did, tried to do it like that so it'd look, you know, neat about it. So I really like it, and I'm enjoying it. And But I just got to really pay attention feel something on my leg. I really got to pay attention to what I'm doing. So anyway, I'll put a link down below if any of y'all are, are interested in uh, maybe making one or if you want to make the whole blanket. It is absolutely cute. And before I show you guys what color he, uh... no, I'm going to do the color thing because I am anxious. <laughs> Let me lay this somewhere without getting all over the place. But I'm going to show you what I found at Walmart to go along with this. All right, get all the pine needles off of it. Uh, we're going to have it right here in the bag. This is the bag I made a couple of years ago, and it's got all the farm animals on it and stuff. And I really loved it, but I really was wanting to pick up some fabric at Walmart. I wasn't going to, like, order any or anything like that unless I was wanting to make a quilt or something. But they didn't have nothing. It's hard to find ice cream stuff decor. At least at Walmart, I didn't find any. But anyhow, it's he stuck it in this bag. So, whatever variegated color, um, the variegated is going to be the background. I already know that. And the solid is going to be the ice cream part. So, and it's going to be vice versa the other way. So, hopefully, I hope he did it right. <laughs> if not, oh um, my, I'm going to have to stick with it because I ain't going to cheat. I keep feeling like I got um, ticks on my leg. <laughs> Now, these pine trees draw the seed ticks, let me tell you. All right, so let's see, and we'll pull out one and show you, and that'll be with whatever it is. Okay, he's got a lot to say back there. All right, as you can tell, they were two skeins. And let me see if I can do this without pulling out the other one. All right. Oh, oh, there you are. Now, that's going to be pretty. That's going to be the background. So, with that being said, I'm trying to make sure that other one's still in the back. Because <laughs> when I was doing it before, like, uh, last year, I was accidentally pulling out part of the other one. I don't want to cheat, you know. But anyway, so that's the color, and that is um, Mainstay multi, Pink Multi. So, and I really think that's pretty. I love using this. So, it's going to be the background of this next one. So, that's going to be pretty. Now, let's see what's going to be the ice cream part. Now, I may just see what that is. Let me put that over there without dropping it on the ground i still feel like there's something crawling on me <laughs> it there probably isn't i just don't see them all right let's oh, i am fixing to put my rooster in time out i tell you what he's over there picking on my old hen she hangs out in the shop and here he comes again i tell you what it's like he don't want me to do this video oh my goodness There is going to be so many interruptions in this video from him. Oh, my. I tell you what. Yeah, he's something else. But anyhow, let's see if we can get this done for another without another interruption. All right, guys. What color did he put in the bag? All right, I'm going to show y'all first before I see it. Oh, he picked a very light blue. That is... Arctic ice, and I have never actually used any of this. The, the skein's a little messy, but this is, um, that's going to be so pretty up next to that right there. <laughs> he did a good job, and that'll be right up next to that right there. So he did a good job, but that is a skein that I got from Hobby Lobby. I got it, and I don't remember what I was using it for, and I never used it, and I said, you know what? I just went through there and got some skeins that I hadn't even, I think a few, just a few I hadn't even used yet and I thought good way to use it right here so I just threw it in there and that's the one he picked so yeah, that's red heart or red heart that is Hobby Lobby I love this yarn 
and it is yeah arctic ice very pretty and i'm my phone's not really showing at least on my end it's not but it's pretty so that's gonna look really good in there so i'm gonna i'm gonna go in there tonight and start working on it and um hopefully i'll get another video up tomorrow because i've actually got some uh, a request for me to make some things and i got to get it done before next week and so i got to get on the ball and i tell you what it's taken me forever and i don't know what, why it's taken me so long except i noticed that my hands hurt more now than what they used to and and arthritis of course and so it's just take and it shouldn't take me that long but it is what it is so i'm gonna try to get this done that way i can come back up tomorrow with another video but if i don't then it'll be the next day i'll just do two together but anyway i'm not gonna put the i'm not gonna stress myself out about it but anyway i think my rooster finally finally went somewhere else i'm sure once i get to start i don't know where he's at <laughs> if you guys were here and you saw me I cannot, when I, I ha, as I've mentioned before in my videos, I alternate because my babies, I can't let them out together yet because that bunch is still a little bit smaller and I've got another rooster, so I'm afraid Jekyll will hurt him because he's a smaller one. And they're so sweet, this breed that I've got over here, they're the Orf Buff Buffingtons. And one of you guys up here uh, comment about you guys have them and you got you know what i'm talking about they're very docile they're just sweet and uh, of course i'm sure he'll turn on me too one day he's already kind of been doing the little dance in the pen you know like i'm gonna get you but you know i just try to give him the benefit of the doubt he's just protecting his girlfriends and i understand that with roosters but man let me tell you when your rooster is way down, or he's way up here and you're way down there and he's running from all the way up there down there to get you, it's aggravating and that's what Jekyll does. And so I have to carry around something for me to scare him to, to stay away from me and stuff like that. And it gets to be a pain, to be honest. And so um, tomorrow is the day for them to get out and they got to go back in there for tomorrow and they got to huge area they can run around they go into this one and the other one and yeah they got a big area so but i tell you he's just awful but before i get off here i forgot i want to show you what i bought at walmart and i found this the other day and i was just waiting for this video let me see if i can do this without falling and hitting the ground but i found this at walmart the, the other day and it was uh, well i'm not going to say it was the only one they had because they ended up having a couple of more but they, oh, it was so cute. And you guys know how I like vintage things and all this. But look at this. And I'm wanting to put this together and put it on my wall. Look at what I found. It is back to the past. Oh, when I seen that, I thought, oh, I got to get it. I just thought it was the cutest puzzle because it's like from back in the past. And it just brought back memories. Of course, when I say brought back memories, the only memories I have of, of like in the past is I got... I got yarn on my nose <laughs> is going to the Dairy Queen with my grandma and getting ice cream cones but also growing up we made homemade ice cream in the old wooden kind that you would crank and uh, oh as a kid I remember it was so fun I couldn't wait till it was my turn and they'd put that rock salt in there and you could start to see she'd always make banana and uh, you would start seeing it come all out of the top and you couldn't wait and you'd make sure nobody is watching you you put your finger down there and you'd get some of it. <laughs> and uh you know oh gosh it was good but now i don't know if i'd want to sit there and crank one of them i'd love to have one just for a conversation piece but but you know it just that ice cream was so good like that it, uh, it's better than what you buy now i don't care what anybody says <laughs> but anyway i had to get this and it just brought back memories of course i never have ever seen well, I have seen ice cream trucks in another town, but when I was growing up, we I never seen them or anything like that. But, yeah, I just thought it was pretty cool, and I had to have it. So I'm going to be putting this together one of these days, and I'm going to be hanging it, hopefully, in that wall to uh, decorate it with. And so, yeah, I'm excited about it, but I wanted to share that with you guys. If you're into uh, puzzles and, you know, check your Walmart out and see if they buy 
have something like that. So, anyway, and I'm not a sponsor or anything like that. <laughs> I have to throw that in there sometimes. I just got to throw that in there because you just never know. But anyway, that's what I found. And I'll have a link down below where you can go check out that pattern. It'll be down in the description box and, and all of that. But anyway, I guess I'm going to hop off here and go get started because I got a lot more other things I need to do. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed day. And I will be chatting to you guys real soon. <laughs>